वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस सी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक टाइम एंड वर्क क्वेश्चन हैज बिन आस्ड इन स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन एग्जामिनेशन इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी नाइन हेयर क्वेश्चन इज ए इज थ्राइस एज गुड अ वर्क मैन एज बी एंड दे आर फोर ए इज एबल टू फिनिश अ जॉब इन सिक्सटी डेज लेस देन बी हाउ मच टाइम दे विल रिक्वायर टू डू इट वेन दे वर्क टूगेदर so what is given here ratio of efficiency a is thrice as good a workman as b thrice three times isn't it so efficiency of a is three times then efficiency of b let us see the solution here here given that efficiency of a is to efficiency of b is 3 is to 1 so time taken by them ratio of time taken by them will be 1 is to 3 a is 3 times efficient than a so time required by a will be 1/3 that of b okay so therefore ratio of time required by a and b to finish the job is how much 1 is to 3 okay and what is the difference between and suppose a is taking one day b is taking three days then what is the difference between number of days two days but here given the difference in number of days is 60 okay so if difference is two number of days required by a is one and required by b is three and if difference is 60 days then required by 1 will be how much 1/3 of 60 means 20 days and required by b is 3 times of number of days required by 1 that is 60 days okay here here if difference in number of days required is 2 then a takes one day and b takes three days to finish the job therefore if difference in days required is 60 days how many times 30 times in 60 60 means 2 into 30 days so a takes 1 into 30 and b takes 3 into 30 and therefore a takes 1 into 30 is equal to 30 days and uh, b takes 3 times isn't it 3 into 30 is equal to 90 days to finish the work therefore 1 days work of a is 1 by 30 and 1 day's work of b is 1 by 90 clear and what we have to find how much time they will require to do it when they work together so first of all you will find 1 day work of a plus b therefore 
one day's work of a plus b will be 1 by 30 plus 1 by 90, LCM will be 90 and here 3 plus 1, this is 4 by 90, this is 2 by 45. One day's work of A plus B is 2 by 45. So, number of days required to finish the work, reciprocal of one day work, means 45 by 2. Therefore, time required by A plus B to finish the job will be reciprocal of 1 upon 2 by 45. This is equal to 45 by 2 and this is 22 and 1 by 2 days. This is the answer, 22 and half. This is the number of days required when A and B work together to finish this job. So, first of all we find one day's work of A plus B means when both of them work together. Then we can easily find out number of days required which will be reciprocal of one day's work, total number of days required. Okay? So, question is not difficult but of course some practice will be required. So, hope you will do sufficient practice so that you have a good command over this topic. So, students please remain in touch with these videos and uh, enjoy learning mathematics and hope uh, you will do well in your examinations. So, if you are understanding these videos, if you are liking these videos, then your likes are welcome. And uh, if you have any doubt, any problem, any confusion or even you want to give any suggestion, please write in the comment box. I will definitely reply. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.